Hello and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Randisha or Randy for short. And just to let you guys know, I am sick. I have a head cold, so sorry if I sound stuffy or if I have like um, a lot of bodily noises in this video. I'll try to cut as much as I can out, but for the most part, I'm going to sound stuffy, so please forgive it. Um, either way, we are going to be um, doing a cash stuffing, a digital cash stuffing for August paycheck number one. But I didn't, I wasn't able to close out um, July paycheck number two because it was still ongoing when I recorded the setup of August paycheck number one. So um, technically what I've been doing, um, July was supposed to end on July 15th because that was uh, like the last paycheck I was using for um, July bills, but I was also going to be one month ahead starting August. So I needed the July paychecks to pay for all of the remaining bills that went through the end of the month. So I accounted for those bills, but what I did not account for was the cash envelope. So our groceries, gas, childcare, things like that, I did not budget for. So that threw paycheck number two for July way out of whack. So um, I'm actually happy that that happened because um, as you know, if you've been following me, then you know that once we got paid, three paychecks back in January. We've been rolling over that money. Let me get to the, here we go. So once we got paid the third paycheck in January, we've been rolling over that money to stay half a month ahead until we can get to July where we'll get our second, um, third paycheck month. And then that way we'll be one month fully ahead. And that way that's how we're paying, um, our August bills with the two, the last two paychecks of July. So that's how we've been staying ahead. Cause I did get that question. So not only do you have to use, um, your third paycheck, um, in like a magic month to pay only bills because if you pay anything else or if you don't have enough money to cover at least you know most of your bills then once you get to that second third paycheck month whenever that may be um then you won't have enough money for a full month's worth of uh bills if that makes sense so um what i was saying is that i'm actually glad that uh, i made the mistake in this july uh paycheck number two budget because now I can let, let you guys know that this um, paycheck that you've been rolling over was us specifically that we've been rolling over since January um, saved us because it paid for all of the cash envelopes and things like that that I didn't account for in paycheck number two. So I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So this is all of the expenses that we had for paycheck number two. So, you know, the list was long. I went to all the way to the bottom. I didn't even have room to put like an unbudgeted total like I know I normally do, but I could have combined some sections and uh, made it work, but it turned out okay in the end. So just to go over um, the expenses really quick, we were pretty much on budget for the most part. Um, we did cancel Hulu and Disney Plus in time not to be charged. Um, there is $60 that we will be rolling over from this paycheck. That's um, We're not going to use it for August. It's just sitting in our bill paying account because my husband wrote a check and they still haven't cleared the check. So um, I'm probably going to ask him to call whoever he wrote the check out to. It's for um, his certificates so he can stay employed in the medical field. So I'm going to ask him to check up on that uh, because it's been like over a week, maybe two weeks now that um, he wrote that check. So that's that. And then we did not roll over any money from July to August because we had to use it for this paycheck. And I'll uh, go over that more in just a second. And then um, my business expenses right here. So the expenses were OK. So. Um, before I jump into the unbudgeted, like I said, our income, um, our income was actually short by pretty much $200. 
Um, we did roll over money from June to July to help with a uh, certain thing. So I believe what we rolled over was our car insurance and uh, Edison, which is our electricity bill to help pay for that. And then of course I use my business income to pay for my business expenses. And then this line, um, if you've been following me, then you knew that for this paycheck, we were going to originally be short $284 and three cent. And that's even if we got all of the money that we were expecting, which we didn't, we were $200 short. So in total, we were almost $500 short on this paycheck um, as far as the income that we needed in the first place. So um, what what ended up happening is that I rolled over this money um, right here in paycheck number one, the 1300 that we've been rolling over. Because like I said, we've been rolling over money since that January um, paycheck so that we could get one month ahead. But since we're going to use July's last two paychecks to pay for all of our August bills, I didn't need to roll over this money into August. I could have, but uh, we didn't need to. So what ended up happening is that this money that I had stashed away to roll over, I ended up using it for paycheck number two. So that's what happened here. So th that 1300 is what we actually used. So, um, despite being $500 down because our paycheck was $200 short and then we needed an extra um, almost $300 on top of our actual like estimated income. Um, <clears throat> it was okay in the end because of that money that I used from paycheck number one. So what uh, ended up happening is um, one, we paid off the other half of the PS5. I wanted to do that in this paycheck. Um, we did go to Costco and that was just like the normal expenses. I did go over what we, uh, budgeted for in Costco, which was 175. We ended up spending one hundred and eighty one dollars and thirty two cents. So we were we were a couple of dollars over anyway for that. And then looking at this calendar, I forgot to account in the last half of the month for the Verizon bill and ID theft again, because what I had put on my monthly budget um, right here for Verizon and ID theft, that was actually June's bills. Because if you look Verizon June right here, ID theft June right here, but I didn't realize that when I was making my budget that I was, um, I needed to pay for June, which pay, which fell into paycheck number one for July. But I also needed to add it to paycheck number two in July because, um, I was paying all of July's bills. So those two items were going to come up again, but originally I hadn't accounted for them. So, um, that was unbudgeted since I missed that. So the Verizon bill was $121.30 and then the ID theft was $12.90. And then um, I did tell you guys that I was gonna pay for a new uh, annual subscription called Funimation, which is basically um, anime. If you're into it, you know what I'm talking about. Then um, that ended up being $60 for 12 months. And uh, I did... Uh, go and treat myself for my birthday to two candles from Bath and Body Works. Um, I had $36 and three cent left in my, um, in my personal like fun money account. So that's what I had. And then I ended up spending $40 and 68 cent, which put me over almost five bucks, but I was okay because the candles that I picked up were, let me show you guys really quick. Oh, so, so good. This, uh, raspberry mimosa, it, the scent is made up of sweet raspberries, rose sorbet, uh, not rose, rose sorbet and champagne. Yeah. So this one smells since we were still, um, in the summertime and it's probably not going to get cold here until October. I'm in Southern California. So I wanted something that was still like summary but could take me into the beginning of fall until it gets, starts to get cold in like 
late October, early November. So this one smells super good. Um, if you don't like sweet scents, then this one isn't for you. And then the other candle that I picked up was this beach sage and mint candle, um, also from Bath and Body Works. And this one has a uh, vibrant mint sprigs, coastal sage, crisp bergamot. I don't know if I said that right. Um, are the main notes in this one. And this one smells so good. It's perfect for um, the summertime. And that's what I'm burning right now in my office. Um, technically, I probably could have wrote these off as a business expense since I'm mostly using them in my office. But I also like to burn these while I'm taking the shower um, because typically I'll take a shower in the dark and I'll like wash up by candlelight so I can get like that whole aromatherapy and like the whole mood going on in my shower. So um, that's part of like my simple self-care that I like to do and uh yeah I've been doing it for a while and um this is the candle that I'm burning currently in my office and when I take a shower so yeah okay so that was my bath and body works haul um so like I said I didn't account for the last two weeks of July which was basically July 16th through the 31st for cash envelopes so um we had to put 110 in gas um groceries is typically 75 dollars but yeah we went way over we ended up spending 153 dollars um on groceries for those last two weeks and then childcare, we put away our typical $560 for two weeks. And then we went way over in Costco um, and we spent instead of $175, we spent dang near $300 at Costco. And the reason why mostly the groceries in the Costco happen is because I thought originally that the money that I was rolling over from paycheck number one, I thought that was going to be free money. But once I realized that... Um, I forgot to account for gas and groceries and stuff for the last half of July. I was like, er, okay, wait, we can't be spending all this money, but the damage had already been done. So luckily you guys will see that it actually turned out okay. Um, so let me keep going through. So food, food is just um, my way of saying eating out. We ate out with $115 in this uh paycheck and then I did have a um, hospital bill of $20 that I didn't account for in this unbudgeted section because that came out of our medical cube so it didn't come out of money from this paycheck so all in all adding all of that up um <clears throat> we actually spent 2000 like almost $2200 um, extra this paycheck, but we had f about $500 on hand to um, help pay for some of it. So all in all, we were about $1,700 over budget this paycheck. And that's actually crazy. So if you see over here, I wrote it at the bottom unbudgeted total. So budgeted is zero because we didn't budget for anything. This is just extra money that we ended up spending. And the actual, again, was $1,700 that ended up coming out of uh, the money from this paycheck. So um, all in all, with us having, being short on our paycheck, um, being short overall on the money that we needed for this paycheck, um, the money that we've been rolling over since January actually saved us because, um, the 1300 plus the $824 that I was going to roll over in this July 2nd paycheck, um, combined, that was about $2,100 that we used for this paycheck to help pay for all of these unbudgeted expenses. So all in all, counting our unbudgeted expenses plus the actual like expenses that we did budget for, our, um, our expense total ended up being $3,877.67, which um, put us over by $827.37. But because of the, again, the money that we rolled over from paycheck number one, all in all, we came up being 70 cent short on this paycheck or 70 cent over on this paycheck, which is an actual blessing. Because if you look at paycheck number one, we actually had $109, um, 
to put towards our savings. So all in all for July, we're going to have some money that we could put towards our sinking fund, despite being incredibly over for um, our July paycheck number two. So I just wanted to share that and just mainly point out that if you're going to be rolling over money to help get you one month ahead, the key is not only to use that money and roll it over one month, you have to keep rolling it over until you get to your second, third uh, paycheck month or your magic month so that you go from being half a month ahead to one full month ahead. And you can use that money to um, pay for that next month's income. If you don't, if you end up spending money um, from the rollover, then and you like you don't spend it on bills and you spend it on like something that's not helping you get one month ahead, then um, that's going to be even more money that you're going to need to come up with when you're trying to be when you're finally getting to that third magic month and you want to be one month ahead. So, um, yeah, um, I'll link a video up in the cards on how I got one month ahead, which should give you a little more detail if you're uh, interested. But Either way, let's go ahead and flip over to um, August paycheck number one so we can do this digital cash stuffing and wrap up this video. Okay, so let me get my Tombow so we can figure out what all needs to be in this um, cash stuffing. So child care, um, gas, groceries, Costco, um, the twins, and then these last three are business accounts. So let's go ahead and add that up, see what the total is. Just so when I pull up my phone, I can make sure that the total in my Q Money Cloud um, matches what we're going to be stuffing right here. So 973, which looks okay to me. So let me go ahead and grab my phone and log into um, Q Money so that that way um, I can pull it up on my screen and then you guys can see what I'm actually doing for, um, for my Q Money. So I am going to just sit back out of the screen so I'm not being distracted. You guys see my phone here and on the screen. So um, let's get started. <clears throat> okay, so this is the Q Money app and this is the planning page where basically I have to take the money that's in my Cube Cloud account and I have to allocate it amongst all of these, uh, all of these cubes. So let's start with the top and I'm going to be stuffing these um, cubes that I just highlighted. So for child care, let's go ahead and do that one. 560. Okay. And then for gas, we're doing 150. And then for groceries, we're doing 75. That should be at the top somewhere. Okay. Uh, for Costco, we're doing 175. Okay. And then for the twins, I think I need to create this one. Let's see. Um, yeah, I do. So let's go to the spending page and create this cube. We're going to call it twins. And then let's see, we get to select the icon and the color. So let's see something that reminds me of twins. Let's do this baby carriage. And then uh, this looks like a pretty neutral, but let's see what else is here. Um, I like this yellow. Yeah, let's go with this yellow. Yeah, 
let's not think too much about it. Um, I'm not going to put in a monthly budget because um, this is just a um, basically a sinking fund. So I wanted to get as high as possible. So save cube. And now you see it created and it says twins zero. So let's go back to the uh, the planning page and I'm going to go ahead and fund the twins uh, cube, which is right there at the top. And then we're going to put in $13. Okay. So now that the adding um, right there on the right matches um, the cube cloud balance. So 973 and 973, I can go ahead and fund my cubes because I know that I allocated all of the money in the uh, cube cloud appropriately. So fun cubes and now it takes me to my um, my spending window and as you can see the twins now have $13 um, Costco has 175 groceries has 75 gas has 260 because we have money in there before um, daycare is up to 1.1 thousand and uh, let's see I think that was all that we were stuffing so yeah quick and easy and if you're new to my channel, what happens next is basically um, we use our cube card for anything that um, only takes debit card. Like the one of the grocery stores that we go to doesn't accept credit cards, um, which is mostly what we use because we'll use the credit card and then we will move the money from um, like the cubes into whatever credit card that we're using, which is mostly um, this Sapphire CC that you see right here will move the money say from like um how we had that medical bill we'll take the money out of medical and we'll transfer it to um whatever credit card cube that we're using so say from medical to sapphire cc and then i will go in and pay our credit card like once a week or so um, and that's basically what happens but in the event that we can't use a credit card we just take our cube uh, debit card and we swipe it at the register it works just like a regular debit card so this um, cube money is attached to a real debit card and these um, balances are real time like I don't have to go in and like most accounts I don't have to go in after the fact and then move this stuff around um, if I use the cube card so um, because like I said, it's directly linked to the debit card. And what I mean is basically when I go to the register, I just tap the, the money. Um, I don't know how else to describe that, close that. But you tap uh, where it shows the money and then it opens up that account for you to be able to use that specific account. And then when you're done, you just close it. And then your debit card is no longer usable. So nobody can take any money off of your card, um, if that makes sense. But either way, the link to Q Money is always in the description if you want to check it out and do some research yourself. But um, that's all I have for you guys. So if you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. And then if you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.